Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. I really hope you are excited, you are motivated, and you are inspired to achieve your financial goals and dreams for 2022, because I am here to help you. I'm here to hold your hand and guide you all the way from strength to strength. Now, I'm going to ask you a small favor. Can you please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, Sugar Mama TV, but more importantly, that notification bell is switched on because I publish a fresh video for you every Thursday afternoon. So I'm always making sure that you have the optimal level of inspiration, motivation, and most importantly, financial education to help you achieve your financial goals and dreams as efficiently as possible, but also with a sense of balance and fun all the way. Now, today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a financial habit that I am guilty of that is holding me back from building a diversified share portfolio worth potentially up to 192 thousand dollars the reason why i want to share this this bad habit that i've just i mean i guess had for quite a while if i'm really honest is because i have a feeling that a lot of people who are watching this video will have a similar habit like myself and i always want to make sure that you're informed and aware and educated so you can then decide if you have this habit like i have you can decide whether it stays or whether it goes or whether you simply like cut it down and do something with that habit to turn it into something far more productive and far more powerful for your life. Now, what am I like going on about here? I sound like I've been really, really naughty and really bad. Well, snacking. See, I love to snack. Uh, I have a really, really uh, sweet tooth. I love anything that's chocolatey. I love to buy banana bread. I love to buy like muffins, particularly chocolate chip muffins or chocolate chip cookies. And I was looking through my bank statement going through my financial goals and my game plan and just seeing what was you know wasteful and mindless and like reining it in where i could and i realized that i was spending on average ten dollars a day on snacks now that three hundred dollars per month if i didn't spend it on snacks if i was to invest that and i was to invest that into a say a diversified share portfolio of say something like an ETF or a listed investment company so the diversification is done for me. And I was to just invest $300 per month, assuming an average 8% growth per annum, which is made up of 5% yield, 3% growth. And I assume that my dividends grow on average by 5% per annum. And these are not crazy assumptions. And I reinvest all of my dividends. I never spend it. And I have to obviously account for tax, for the income tax that is. If I was to reinvest all of those dividends along that 20 year period, my portfolio would be worth potentially up to $192,000. Isn't that an obscene amount of money by simply just foregoing, wasting $10 a day on snacks, which I have to say would be so much better for my waistline and I'd probably sleep a lot better as well. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you is I want you to be aware of whatever habits where you are potentially being wasteful on money. And I want you to know and use this information to then maybe be more mindful with your money because you might be listening to this and think, you know what, Canna, you're right, I do the same. In fact, I probably spend more and I could do the same. I could go and build a $192,000 share portfolio just like you are working on at the moment. And in fact, I could do more than $300 per month. I could do $500 a month. Or you might be watching this going, all right, I don't spend $10 a day on snacks, but I, I spend $10 a day on cigarettes or vapes or clothing or something else that's wasteful in my life. And if you're feeling you need to rein it in, then this is your wake up call. This is your sign that you should be reining it in. Now, that doesn't mean we go without snacks or splurges. No, this is all about balance and fun. And that's what my channel is all about, doing it mindfully. But I want you to jump on the Sugar Mama website and see what you could potentially do for yourself. If you go to the Sugar Mama website and you go to the financial library, then go to the calculators, then go, which is the important part, because this is where you can see what you could potentially build for yourself. You go to the dividend sweet spot calculator. And from this point, you add in all the information. So for this example to show you, and you can put all this information for yourself, I start with nothing. 
I do an investment strategy of $300 per month. I use a dividend growth of 5% and a dividend yield of 5%. I assume an average growth of 3%, which gives me my average 8%, which is, as I said, not outrageous or to be unexpected or greedy. And I obviously assume that I reinvest all of my dividends. I have the inflation level at 2.5%, which is about fair. Sometimes you can go to 3% or sometimes less, depending on where you're living in the world. And if you have a look and press calculate, you'll see potentially what that portfolio could compound and grow over time. I even share with you what the adjusted inflation figure is so that it's completely transparent and you're completely informed and educated along the way of the impact of inflation because a lot of financial influencers conveniently leave that out. So what I want you to do by watching this video is think about what your financial goals are. And I have to point out that $192,000 diversified share portfolio could potentially be paying me a passive income of over $8,000 a year, which is huge. That pays for like a holiday each year. So I want you to go away and think about what you could do, where you could be more mindful with your money and how you could build up your own diversified share portfolio for yourself. And if you're ever wondering where am I investing? Well, I recommend grab a copy of Mindful Money because I share the listed investment companies and the ETFs that I really like because it is so quick and easy to build a diversified share portfolio. All right, everyone, that is it for this video today. Don't let your snacking a day, your $10 a day habit, hold you back from achieving your financial goals and dreams. I'm here to make sure that 2022 is so incredibly powerful, effective, and we really do go from strength to strength. We have breakthroughs, we have shifts, we have new findings, new awareness, and new insights together. So make sure you're subscribed, of course, and make sure that notification bell is switched on so you are ripe and ready for the next video coming next Thursday afternoon. And of course, please make sure you are following me on Instagram because I'm sharing more and more hacks for 2022, even like funny ones about how I use my mind to manifest money, attract money, save money, stop spending money. There's lots of fun tips coming your way. So everything is linked in the video box below, including a video about five frugal snacks for less than $5. Now, as our moms always like to say, next time we're gonna go spend $10 on snacks and muffins and banana bread, grab a piece of fruit, as our parents have always like to say. What a healthy frugal snack that is. All right, everyone, enough from me. I will see you next Thursday. Ciao.